So here, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to do pans and zooms and transitions. Now, just as a reminder, the old rule still applies. We want to have one sound file per one image. You use the number from your storyboard. And then you, when you make the movie, you save it with the same number. That way you know how everything connects, right? That's how you know everything connects. Now, I'm going to focus to talk about this issue of um, transitions. I want to look in particular at this slide. Like I said, I think this is a powerful slide. I was able to connect it to this idea of journey carrying a burden. So you'll notice, I think the focus of this image is these two guys here. And so you start off with this as an image. And if I were to talk... You know, it's okay for 30 seconds or so, but it wouldn't it be nice if we zoomed in and we pan. That gives your movie some more action, and that's how you can make things interesting with still photos. And I want to zoom in on these guys, right? Because this is kind of the focus. So I want to show you how to do that. So we know from my this is number 17, and I saved as number 17. So I'll put that up here. Put my shot cut up here. And then now I just transfer it. And it changed on me the view so I can just go back to layout and do timeline project. And then it's a little bit easier. Though I do want to make this a little bit bigger because I'm going to have to add an audio file. But so I've got my file there. So I'm going to put it down here. Very good. The next step is I got to do something with the sound file, which is helpfully numbered number, oops, there we are, 17. We Japanese, a vanquished people. There we go. So I had the audio already from previously, but remember you can, if you don't have the audio, you simply add it, add audio track, and then I can download it. Boom. Now remember, we want these things to match. So I drag this out here. Okay, so now here, this is really complex, so please bear with me, but this is how you would do this. So we need to make sure that we can see the filter. Sometimes there's other things. Uh, let's see if I can get some other things up here. So I have to, yeah, there we go. Sometimes remember there was a playlist. So I wanna add a filter. That's how you're gonna do this. So first of all, right now the audio is selected. I wanna make sure the video is selected, right? It should be highlighted. And I'm gonna go to filters. And notice it says there's the name of the image. So I'm going to press plus. And wow, do I have a lot of things to choose from. And I'm going to choose rotate and scale. That's the, what I want to do. Now, notice this. When I press play, we Japanese, a vanquish that moves along. We want to absolutely, positively, this has to be at the front. This is what your image is going to look like at the front. Now, if you want to, you could go ahead and play with it. You may say, I think this is zoomed too far back at the beginning. I want to cut out. I don't want any of that black space. I want it to be gone. You could start there. And if you start like that, that's where Japanese, it's going to start. A vanquished people. But I don't like it like that. I want it to be all the way back. So what I can do to, to restore it, I just press that arrow. And now it's back to the original. Now I have to stress again, put these all the way back. It has to be at the very beginning. I'll, I'll show you what happens later if you don't do that. And we want this to be what's called a keyframe. It's kind of a, a marker. We're going to press all these little clocks, and that makes that the keyframe. Notice these two little circles popped up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance this all the way to the end. It has to be at the end, right? It has to be at the end. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to what I want it to end up being. So I want it to be focused more. I'm going to increase the scale. Play around with it. You're just going to have to play around with it till you get what you like. And then rotation rotates it. If you want to do like that, you can make cool spinny effects. I don't want to do that. So I just hit that arrow to go back. X offset makes it go left or right. So remember, this is kind of, there's more space over here. So I eventually want it, I want to shift over. So like I said, these guys are in the middle. I want them to be the center, so I have to play with it till I'm I'm happy with it. 
think that's what I want. And I, I want their whole bodies to be in there, at least more of it. So then I'll press with the I, Y to make them go up a little bit. Now, as you can see, one thing is it's sometimes hard to get it just right. And then you can just type in stuff. So I'm going to, this is at minus 67. So I'll see if it, what happens if I make it minus 80. Huh, not quite there. Minus 85. Not quite what I want. Minus 90. Let's see it. it. Can take a while. 95. Let's just jump up to 105. Almost there. One fifteen, yeah. And let's say I, I want it to be a little bit out. I want to see their feet. So I'm going to change this to 160. Not quite where I want it. We'll change it to 155. And now I'm going to make this go down a little bit more. Still not quite where I want it. 125. Do not hit enter, by the way. It will automatically do this. If you hit enter, it gets weird. And we'll say, okay, that's where I want to end up. So now let's see. And notice these are all blue. These are all locked. You want them to stay locked. So let's see now what happens. We Japanese, a vanquished people, must now walk along a path that is full of pain and suffering. The reparations imposed by the Potsdam Declaration are a heavy burden. But this painful path along which we walk... So you get the idea, right? What it's going to do is it's going to make that... Um, it's going to take the key here, that's the starting point, and then slowly move till it gets to what we had at the end, right? So what you, you want to make sure it's all the way over the end. So let's now... What I can do, let's say I don't like this filter. I've changed mine. I don't like it. It's chosen. I just hit minus, and boom, the filter's gone. Let me show you what happens if we mess this up. So I'm going to add the filter again. Rotate and scale. And uh, I lock it. But let's say I'm not careful enough and I put it here instead of here. Right, I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to do my scaling. I'm not going to be too strict about making this exactly what I want because I'm just trying to show you what happens. Okay, so I didn't put it all the way in, so let's see what happens. Walk carrying our burden. Is it not also the path of hope, which gives to us sinners an opportunity to expiate our sins? So see, it just kind of froze. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So you want to make sure of that, that that's all the way at the end, right? Because otherwise it's going to kind of freeze. Now what you can do, though is you can do this at different points. Like you could be here and be like, I'm going to change the scale to this. And then you could be like, I'm going to be here and then change the scale to this. Let's watch for a second. This should do this kind of wacky stuff. Is it not also the path of hope, which gives to us sinners an opportunity to expiate our sins? Ah, blessed are those. So you can do that kind of thing. It's just usually you don't want to, right? You want a nice smooth zoom and pan. And you do that by making sure that when you, you start it, it's at the start. And when you actually end it, this thing is all the way here, right? I spent a lot of time messing that up, uh, let me tell you. So that's what you would do. And then, you know, once you're done, once you get it how you want it to, you would export the video. I want to stress, don't try and do multiple ones at once. That is hard. That's what I learned. <laughs> don't try and do that. Notice again... I used one sound file plus one image to make one movie. So that's, that's how I did that. So let's get rid of this. I'm just going to delete this. Because now what I want to do is talk to you about transitions. So let's put, let's go. Okay, here's one other thing that can be confusing. Notice here how there's playlist filters. You can go back and forth between the playlist and the filters. So let's select from the playlist some movies. See, I want to do that one because we were just talking about it. Do the guy's solution and donating cherry trees. So what happens now? And I'm going to remove the, the audio Japanese. track. A vanquished people don't need a separate Let's now one. walk along a path that is full of pain and suffering. So I put this down here. 
And then here's my next one. The guy's argument that those who put that down there. Now, notice I did something here. Notice how there's these yeah. wave files. There's these waves that show when I'm talking. And when the, when the little <laughs> wave thing goes up, it means I talked louder. When it goes down, it means I'm not talking. That is very helpful because it tells you when there's silences. So watch this. For they shall be comforted. Now you may say, why did I leave that extra silence at the end? Why didn't I edit that out? I would encourage you to leave a second or two of silence at the end of each sound file. Because what happens is then you can do this. Watch. I can overlap. And all I'm doing is overlapping that sound. That was silent. So it's okay that I'm overwriting the silence. It doesn't mess things up because it was silence. Now notice how it did that little weird thing there. It automatically added a transition. So let's watch. Comforted. The guy's argument that now wasn't that nice. That was nice and smooth, right? That that looked a lot better than just having, um, you know, just having a direct jump. Now let's select the transition. Let's see. Okay. Notice I had to go back up here and I have to select properties. So when you select, I selected the transition, but it wasn't showing what I was doing. I'm like, okay, where was that menu? It was under view properties. Remember, so if you can't find something you need, a lot of times you just go to properties and you add the stuff you need. So there's transition. Now look, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. You can play around with these settings to make it do what you want. But let's say I don't like dissolve. Let's say I want diagonal top left. So let's try again and you can watch what it does. Shall be comforted. The guy's argument, so it made a different transition. So like I say, you just select the properties, then you do, um, yeah, you can just up here, choose the different ones. Okay, so let me show you now something that you want. I, I have to, you want to be careful about this. Okay, how to, okay, see, got to get back to the playlist. How to do that? Look down here, there's a playlist. So I wanted to do a third one to show you something. But the guy did not just think only of his, now, but the guy did not notice, just think only of his, here, I did that thing where I left like a second so I could add the transition. Let's do that directly. Oh. Okay, look. It didn't make a transition. It just deleted the part. And that's not what I want to have happen. Now, if you don't know this, this is like the best thing ever. It, in most computer programs, if you press Control Z, it undoes your most recent action. And you can press it multiple times to reduce to undo multi other actions. So I'm going to press Control Z. Okay, now I've got it back. So let me add donating cherry trees again. But now this time I'm not going to override it. Children. I'm just going to put it there, lock it in. Now, after I've already put it in, if I arrow it over, it made a transition. And let's go have a look at that. Be sure to save enough for them. But Nagai did not just think only of his own children, but of all members of the community. Now, I just want to again highlight when you're thinking about an image, when I had this image of cherry trees, what do I focus on? I wanted to focus on the people because he's caring about the community. So you always want to think about that. When you're thinking deeply about that, I think that your documentary will flow together in a much better way. It's just going to make more sense. So that's something just to keep in mind uh, as you're making your documentary. So one other thing I just want to point out. So my video has like, let's see, it had... Um, 23 slides. That's a lot. So you sometimes want to save. So when you hit save as, you can just type whatever file name and it's going to save it. Now, remember, it doesn't save it as a movie. It saves it. Let's see. As the file format that just kind of remembers where you put all this stuff. There it is. Document, Nagai documentary. If I open that, I'm not going to say the changes to this one. There we go. There it opened up what I had been working on. So it doesn't, when you do save, it doesn't save it as a movie. It saves it as this kind of format that lets you look back at transitions. And I would encourage you to save it because one thing I want to tell you about it, shortcut crashes a lot. It just does. And so it's good to save every few, um, every few images you do. And then when you want to make it into a movie, remember you do export video. So if you save, it's not going to save it as a movie. It's going to save it in this kind of format here, which is good. I mean, you want to save it. You want to keep going and remember those things.
And while we're at it, I just want to show you briefly. This is what I was talking about with like the funeral image. Let's see. Yeah, this one, I said I had to choose. Do I zoom in on him or I do zoom in on the kids? I just want to show you what I did. In 1951, See, there he is. the guy, despite suffering so much, died happily in prayer. Hopeful to the end that human beings could build a better world. So that was the idea. Was it, I mentioned his deaths. So I did show him dead. But then he, he I, there was this message of hope. And that's why I opted to, to zoom in on his kids. So that was kind of the idea there. So those are the kind of things you want to think about. But basically, once you do that, you put all your videos together and uh, then you can make one long video uh, and then you are good to go, right? And just to show you, that's indeed what I did. There's my documentary. Makoto. You'll we'll have to watch the whole thing later. There. But you can see okay. the idea. Uh, it took me quite a number of hours to make like a, a documentary. It was just under nine minutes. So do give yourself plenty of time to do this. But once it's done, I think it can be really cool. And I hope it will be a, a, a tool that you can use throughout your lives uh, as well as in this class. So good luck. And I look forward to looking at your documentaries.